Does anybody have a anybody have an opinion? Firestorm, you're out there. I know you like to see Mage. Sorry, it's not Mage. What are you thinking? Do you have a preference of the other two? You want to see Winage? Okay. All right. For you, I will choose Pally. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's turn it around. Man, that was disappointing. I can't believe I threw that one. Oh my god. Got to take it a little easier here. All right, so this is a this is a tough first pick. Having a Sunwalker is never bad because you can uh, make picks around it later, and just be confident that you've got a, a solid body there. Sword of Justice is definitely the highest ceiling. You can get a lot of value out of that, and uh, the Piper's is a card draw, and in Paladin that's hard to find. Um, I'm leaning towards the sword, but I, I could see going for the piper. What do you guys think? What what uh, What's your first pick here? I really like the sword. Though there's a lot of really good weapons in Paladin. Let me update the, the feed here, because we're, we're on a pally. Fresh pally arena. There we go. Drafting it right now, people. Yeah, let's take the sword. Let's get some value out of that. Um, this guy gets a lot, a lot of value going on later. The problem that I run into with Paladin is um, you can actually run out of gas by investing too much in late stuff like Steed. I think we're going to take the Crusader here. I do like the, the, the Rook a lot. Geist is just insane if we get its value. It rarely happens, but Rebuke definitely has a place. I love this card. I think this is so. There's a couple cards each expansion where, or each set that comes out, and you just go, you know what? That card's cool. They thought that card out. It fits well. That's true for standard, though. This card is not is not the ideal card for arena here. Neither is the Spellstone. Repentance is one of the best secrets, and there's that guy, if we're lucky enough, that battle cries and death rattles to pull it out, so let's take that guy. Uh, the value of Hydrologist is insane. Sewer Crawler is okay, better than those other two. I was just talking last time about the, the, the value you can actually get out of Silverhand Knight, so I will show you guys that. So our deck is getting pretty crazy here. I always like the idea of Servant and say to myself, man, this card is so valuable and really gets you some 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 juicy, juicy elementals, but it never works out like that, right? Let's just let's just take the thrash on it and make it work. Okay, so we already have a weapon. The tricky thing with Sword of Justice is at most you want to attack with it once. So the the champion is at least a, another weapon. Consecration is such a, a good card in Paladin and gives you that identity, so it's really hard to pass that up. But since since we got so many heavy minions, I'm going the Scalebane. We're gonna we're gonna buff like crazy. Silver Sword here is an easy choice. None of these are easy choices because they're all really bad. Um, we don't have any buffs yet. Could get value out of this, maybe maybe someday, but we'll get the Lizard just in case. Um. So we've got a good curve going here. Maybe the two drop. This is almost like a silence. Oh, there goes floating fish. We just saw. Sorry, bro. Sorry about your 3-3 warrior. We're going to take the Dark Conviction and get some value out of that. I actually really like the Grim Necromancer. For the mana, it gives you a lot of value. It could make our Sword of Justice really good, but we're actually going to take the card draw because you get uh, a lot of times in your life when you're a paladin and you wish you had card draw. We already have two weapons. We're not going to triple up on another Sword of Justice here, so we're going to take the deranged guy. Charge. Fungal Mancer is insane. Let's get some Let's get some Fungal Mancer here. Push the Heroism. Boom. Okay, we like where this is going now. I think we take the Blessing of Might here. Hand of Protection is okay, but we already got one Divine Shield, and it comes with a card. The Blessing of Might can give us some really good options. This guy's not bad on five mana. I just he's he's a little underwhelming. I'd rather have at least some tricks here. Uh, heal is good. Heal is great. It's 
really tough to pass up on an equality. The value you get from equality is just super strong with our Sword of Justice. Let's let's take an equality. We will not regret it. So we've got the, th the Threshed on. I think for the one more mana, the Worm is way better. So comparing it to that, it's hard to to pass this up. But this guy on turn four is just so good. And our, our other four cards are, are not not as good. So let's take it. These all stink. So up until I started streaming, I played on my phone 99% of the time. This card, I swear to God, on the phone, it looks like his shoulder pad is his hat. I thought I thought that was his hat for the longest time, and his hand was just doing something goofy. I mean, his hands are still kind of goofy, but that's that's clearly now his his shoulder blades. So, oh look at that! I got a lot of foils. Since we already have a blessing, I guess we take the Skellymancer. Maybe maybe on the rare chance it turns into something. Sound the bells um, can get you some really good value. I'm not going to undersell it. This is one of the better werewolves, but. I've, I've talked about it before, the value of getting cards outside of the 30 is too much to pass up. Technically, Sound the Bell does that too, but it's built into the card. So they knew that you were going to do that. Let's take the Shrieking Shroom. Let's get some value here. Ah, oh boy. Neither of these are very good. We don't want the pirates unless they're insane pirates. Oh, Bright Eyed Scout is good. So we need a... Come on, deck. We need a steed. What kind of paladin is there without a steed? Let's draw our bells. Do we have any? We already have our poor lizard trying to synergize with elementals. Do we have any elementals though? I did pass up on the healing elemental. Ugh. Ugh. I guess we take our humility here. Oh, our favorite poison. Okay, so we did not get a silence. That's that's a little bit of a bummer. We did get the... Where is it? Why can't I find it? The Dark Conviction. Kind of like a Silence. Not really. Um, we did get the Humility, so we would have loved a Silence. But we've, uh, we've got a lot of really strong minions here. So our goal each game, like most games, is just to hit that curve. Hit that curve and, uh, and fly away with it. That's what we're doing here. Let's go. What are you guys thinking? I'm thinking, okay, so I'm a little salty from that rogue one. I think it was an eight win deck. I, I cost myself at least at least that last game, probably two games. I know I misplayed that shaman too, so I'm thinking I'm thinking to to get back at myself. We we win this one like crazy. So I'm thinking out of this deck. No steed. Okay, realistically out of this deck, we're going for five.